This time two variables were different. Number one, I had something specific in mind I wanted to practice, a chili peppers groove that I couldn't yet play. And number two, I had a recording device. I pressed record and started in on the chili peppers groove. Since I had arrived on time, plus the next guy was running late, I ended up spending roughly 80 minutes. When that was over, I wiped the sweat off my nose and went to the minidisc player. Wow, I'd already forgotten I was recording, I thought. I packed up my things and went home. I felt excited and confident as never before. I was looking forward to having a listen, not only to find out how the minidisc player sounded, but also because I was absolutely convinced that I would enjoy listening to this documented proof of my most focused and effective practicing ever. I plugged in my headphones and played back the recording, and what I heard was this. First me shouting, Test! 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 A couple of sounds, some fooling around on the snare drum, some tuning, followed by random clacking noises, Silence, me drinking water, me going back to the device. Hello, is this, is this recording? Hello. Footsteps, clacking noises, loud drumming, silence, then me saying, Okay, chili peppers groove, take eins. Then a short burst of two notes played, stop. A short burst of three or four notes played, stop. Some heavy breathing, oh. silence, clacking noises. A short, loud burst of the beginning of the groove, stopping immediately. Another short burst of the beginning of the groove, stopping immediately. Then, all of a sudden, I heard myself angrily mumble something. After one more failed three-second attempt, from out of the blue came a jazz beat. Me playing a light, beautiful swing beat. Something completely different. This went on for a while, then stopped. Again, my voice saying, Okay, okay. Chili peppers groove. A long pause, and then for the sixth time, Take eins. I had even tried to lie to myself. Unbelievable. Then I heard a few short bursts of the beginning of the groove, followed by the swing beat. Short bursts of the beginning of the groove again, followed by what I call anger fills. Very aggressive, loud playing because I got frustrated with myself. Then, good, good, okay, okay, okay. Some water drinking, some adjusting of the gear, and it went on and on like that. I think you get the idea. Scheiße! <laughs> Let me just say that on a mini disc there is space for 74 minutes. But in listening back to my practice session, all my confidence and enthusiasm has evaporated into thin air after the first two minutes. What the hell happened? It became clear that what I thought I was doing had little to do with what I was actually doing. I was mortified. For a split second, I was tempted to just erase the whole thing. But thankfully, I stopped, took a deep breath, plugged the output into a pair of speakers, sat down with the pen and paper and played back the recording from the beginning. I wanted to truly understand what I was actually doing. I decided to take notes and brainstorm about how I could improve. And with that, I began the journey that would change the way I practice forever. <laughs>